If you're looking to buy some Madden 20 Ultimate Team coins and you want to support me, go to MMOEXP.com. Use my code CK for 5% off. Link in the description. Welcome back, you guys. Your boy CK. We are back on the Draft Champions, my favorite game mode. Today is all about that drip, okay? We're going to be taking a guy in every round who is just too stylish. A banger by Jack Harlow. We got Google, three tabs to be exact. And we're gonna be looking up each player and, and typing their name in on Google and, and typing drip right after. And then whoever has the best drip is the guy we're gonna take. It's simple. All right, it seems like Google's not too hip yet. You know what I'm saying? So when you type in drip, they don't really know what you mean. So I had to type an outfit. Look at Matt Patricia. You know, that, that shirt, kind of fire. Mike Zimmer, uh, he got, he at least he matching. And then uh, let's see, Adam Gase. Yikes. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with Matt Patricia in round one. Whoa, buddy. What is he wearing? All right. Well, we know who we're not taking. Um, Tyreek with the inflatable suit. That's fire. And we all know about Edelman. You know, he looked like he, he's a male model. You know what I'm saying? He, he's very drippy. I cannot lie. This man, he, he knows how to dress. He has a good stylist. But I'm going with Tyreek. That suit is just flames, okay? Easily going with him. All right, so round two is a little tough. You know, I'm trying to find anything on Darnell Savage, and, and it's just, it's not there. I typed in suit. I typed in outfit. I typed in dressed up. For Trufant, you know, he has a pretty chill outfit. I like that. He, he doesn't have to take himself too seriously. You know what I'm saying? But look at Derwin. Not just this one, okay? He has multiple looks. The man knows how to dress. We're going with the strong safety. All right, another tough round, you know, not too many pictures of these guys, but Jesse Bates was like, he, he could be a model right there, you know what I'm saying? He could be a magazine. Kenneth Caro, very drippy, you know, I've been there where you don't want to smile, you know, it happens a lot. Um, And then Patrick Chung, okay. He does not look right in the suit. He needs what he needs. I'm gonna have to go with Jesse Bates the third. All right, this is a close battle between two defensive linemen. We have Taco Charlton, looking very drippy. And then we have Gerald McCoy, the glasses, I think puts him over over Mr. Charlton. We're going with the D tackle. Best I could find for Max Williams was, was this, you know, nice little button up. And then we have Hunter Henry looking very drippy on his wedding day, you know what I'm saying? Who else could pull off the hat like that? You feel me? I gotta go with my ball. I mean, it's not just once. He pulled it off more than once. Look at this. Right there at the Sixers game. He did it, you know, at Sports Center. The man kills the look. He has the drip. We're going with him. Now, Lyman is always tougher. You know, they, they're a little bit bigger. It's tougher to find suits that fit them. You feel me? So it's I give them a little bit more leeway. You know what I'm saying? Here we have Brandon Linder looking pretty fresh. Adam Timmerman. I like this look a lot. Okay, at the nice little buzz cut. He got, you know, the flower that matched with the inside of him. It's very drippy. Andrew Norwell. I like this as well. You know, nothing too flashy. But if I'm being honest, I think the best one here is Mr. Timmerman. We're going with the right guard. All right, couldn't find much on Juan Thornhill, unfortunately, man. Joe Hayden. Is that is that a real is that a real picture? What, what happened to his hair? If he had no more hair, that, that might be a, a, a fire fit. But you can't compete with Jamal. I mean, look, look, at, look at the ball. Look at the ball. He dripping. We're going with the strong safety. Couldn't find much on Cornelius Lucas. However, Anthony Costanzo. This had to be back in like sixth grade because ain't no way he's this skinny. I mean, look at him. No, I'm just kidding, man. He, hey, he looking drippy, though. Every picture I'm seeing, he knows how to dress up. That's what I've been seeing. As for Lael Collins, he knows how to dress. This is a very tough one. Uh, it's very it's very close. I'm not going to lie to you. I, I I think I got to give this slight edge to Lael Collins. We're going with the right tackle. That is fire. Hold up. Brandon might have the best fit I've seen so far in this draft. All right, we got to give the other contestants a chance. You feel me? Ty Gurley knows how to dress it's, it's simple this is going to be tough austin hooper uh I, I can't really find much on austin hooper that's how i'm feeling when it comes to his chances i don't understand how i'm supposed to choose but that is amazing i i would wear that and you know i don't know if i have the best drip so maybe that's not a good thing damn i want to go with cook so bad but i i have to be honest ty Gurley, he has so much drip i i gotta go with him oh my goodness they made me take back to back running back i think running backs in general they just they're so drippy it, it is what it is they always know how to dress look at ingram you already know he, he know how to dress look at levion drippy as hell okay i like that fit for once we see people not in suits you know what i'm saying i i, I fucks with it here he is with antonio you know just a chill laid back drip okay and then nick chubb what is it well hold up what is that i don't know if i'm feeling that one you know it's, it's, it's unique but sometimes unique does not mean better you feel me so i think it's between levion and mark ingram i really like this fit right here again the glasses it's something about them glasses so yeah, I'm gonna give that slight edge 
to Mr. Bell. Okay, here we are on Twitter. We're looking at Patrick on Wasser when he was back on the Ravens. That's drippy. Even though it's a costume, you know, he is flames. Jamie Collins, I fucks with the outfit. It looks like he back in the 90s, you know, that was a prevalent hairstyle. You feel me? So I, I like it, you know, very chill. He got the blazer on with the t-shirt. Uh, I like it. Fred Warner though. I mean, come on now. Look, look at his face. He said, come on now. You know it's an easy decision. We're going with the robe. Allen Robinson, nice drip. You know, you can't go wrong. I, I like the color choices. Um, things of that nature, you know, Tyler Lockett though, outside the box. That's why I like this guy. I know he's a great player, very underrated, um, but I, I just, I, I like his uniqueness, you feel me? And then Marquez Valdez scaling, it doesn't look like there's anything on him. Two-man race, we're gonna have to go with Mr. Lockett though. It was close. I mean, just take a look at it. I know we already finished the round, but look at this. He not afraid to wear whatever, man. That's what I fucks with. Just, just being, you know, having that confidence. All right, James Burgess Jr. Doesn't really show up too much, you know what I'm saying? There's just, apparently there's been a lot of James Burgesses, you know what I'm saying? Unfortunately for him. Uh, KJ Wright, you know what I'm saying? The last time he dressed up looked like uh, back in uh, in college, you know, it is what it is. You know, you don't need to dress up to make millions. Hassan Reddick, though, seems like the only option. And it's a pretty good option. The man know how to dress up. He's very drippy. We're going with the MLB. We have a couple of veterans in round 14. One of them, Jerry Hughes. I like it. You know, not too flashy. Uh, just shows up and he knows how to dress. Look at this, another nice fit right there. Let's go to Kawan Short. Let's see. Once again, straight to the point, you know, none, none crazy, none flashy. I like this one too. This is a nice one with the glasses. Right now he's in the lead. Let's see Rashawn Gary. I like that fit. You know, he got the normal glasses this time. Ooh, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's not him. That's Devin Bush. Okay. Here's another Rashawn Gary though. Very, very, very nice drip. You know what I'm saying? I think the edge has to go to Kawan though. D tags for some reason, they know how to dress. We're going with one in round 14. Right off the bat, you should already know who we're probably gonna be taking. I haven't looked at any of the drip yet, but come on now, we, we, we already know. My oh, man has so many fits, I can't keep up. Are you kidding me? Just look at Cam. Which one? It don't matter, bro. So many fits. If I was ever gonna ask an NFL player to be my stylist, I'm choosing Cam or whatever his stylist is. That's who I'm going with. Unbelievable. Steve Young, he looks nice. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Very, very nice. You know, you know how to dress. Same with Stafford. Look at it. Okay. Okay. He, he caught me by surprise. I didn't know he was this drippy. But come on now. It's not even close. It's not even close. He might be the most drippy player in the NFL. Mr. Newton. Once again, Robert Quinn, a very normal, you know, common name. It's tough to find pictures of just him. I think this is one right here. Yeah, pretty sure. That's a nice suit right there, you know, but it seems like it was taken years ago. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying it's been a while. Same with Anthony Walker. Two extremely common names. Is I can't even find anything on him. So it looks like Joe Staley. Although he's not like insanely drippy, you know. Hey, at least I found a picture of him. That's all that matters. We're going with the left tackle. Okay, look at Daniil. Looking very drippy. I fucks with this. We have not seen that color yet. It's, I like it so much, man. Okay. Lake and Tomlinson. Nice. He got the blue. He knew where he was going, apparently. Uh, I like that. Very nice fit. Mike Pouncey. You know, when you're a twin, you can't really dress up like your twin. You know, it's it's a little bit tougher. You feel me? You, you just gotta be a little bit different. And I think that, that, that's a good drip right there. That's, that's a really good drip, but I'm gonna have to go. Why is Aaron Hernandez here? Yeah, this one goes to Daniil. No question. We're going with the left end. Another guy with a seemingly, you know, common name, Dante Jackson. So it's kind of tough to find uh, anything on just him. Uh, Noah Ibinogin, recently drafted. Looking very nice, you know. I'm guessing that's his parents. Very nice family right there, you know what I'm saying? Bryce Callahan. He doesn't look too comfortable in the suit. I'm sorry. Part of, you know, have a drip is looking like you feel good in the drip, you know what I'm saying? I, I think Noah looks the most comfortable. I'm gonna have to go with him in round 18. All right, Devon Kennard. This is one guy that seems to have plenty of fire outfits. I mean, look at this one right here. Very nice, you know, unique. You got the green, you got the red on it, you know what I'm saying? He can also rock just the black and white with the bow tie, you know, you don't see that too often. Very, very nice. Okay, another nice fit. And I looked at the other options in this round, couldn't really find too much, to be honest with you. So we're just gonna have to go with him. Okay, Randall McDaniel at his pro football thing. I mean, there's nothing you can really do. You have to wear that jacket that they give you. So, I mean, he didn't really have a choice. Charles Clay, you know, simple to the point. Um, Just nothing stands out though. You know, it, it, it's nice, but it's not crazy. Mike Williams, I, 
I like the drip. I like the tie. The tie puts him over the top. We're going with the wide receiver. Another extremely common name, Chris Johnson, but uh, I was able to find it just a little bit. Okay, here's one of them right here. He got a nice chain. You know what I'm saying? I, I messed with it. Okay, he got the he got the um the jean shorts. You know what I'm saying? I, I messed with it. I like the shoes. That's drippy. It doesn't have to be suit just to be drip you know what i'm saying rod smith the legendary wide receiver uh okay once again very nice drip you know nothing out of the ordinary algae crumpler okay I, I like that fit i don't know if that's him i really don't but if it is i like the drip however chris johnson our third running back of the video man it is what it is and then finally antonio cromarty man knows how to dress he has drip for days uh, I mean, that's all I really need to say about that one, okay? Joe Klecko, you know, he's a little bit older, but I can tell back in his day, he knew how to dress. Man, had a drip. He had a sense of style, you feel me? But prime time, not only was he stylish on the field, I mean, just look at his car dart. You feel me? He had the Jericho and everything. But off the field, oh, kill him. Just drippy for days, man. We're going with Neon Dion. The team is too stylish, okay? If we pulling up off of a plane, it'll just be one by one fire outfit after fire outfit but we gotta see how they perform out there on the field respect the star we got ourselves a cowboys fan bro that's gonna make me go twice as hard i can promise you that let's see what happens first play is gonna be a carry garrison hurst i like draft champions for that very reason man you get to see so many different players no one in the right mind is using garrison hurst in mud unless they're doing a the theme team but you, you always see like the dickerson the barry sanders the Walter Payton, you see the same people every time. Oh, I was, I saw it the whole way. At least we got the tackle. Oh, first and 10. Yes, sir, Jesse Bates with the nice interception, baby. Taking off with Cam, taking off. No, for, every time everyone else scrambles with Cam, they never fumble. When I do though, when I do, it's a fumble. Oh man, that's what happens. That's what happens. Ball does not freaking lie, man. Jamal Adams with the nice interception. Oh my goodness, this might be a house call. This oh. might, ah! Gonna double team Nick Bosa on his fourth and 12. We're pretty much at midfield. If I don't get it, oh well. You know, it's not the end of the world. Here we go. Oh, X. X wide open. They left Ertz. Are you kidding me? Gonna put Ertz on a curl route right at the sticks. Let's go. That's a nice catch. No, it's not. We'll take the three. Let's go. That's a nice pass, man. A playmaker. Ertz gets us the first down. Taking off with Cam. Let's go. We out. No way, this dude fast as hell. Frank Clark chasing down 98 overall cam. This is supposed to be prime cam, right? Am I wrong? Like, if it is, then something's wrong. This is just not very representational of uh, his talents. You feel me? Squared. Wide open. Tyreek with the first down. Trying to feed Le'Veon as much as possible right here. If he does not start producing, we got backups for days that can make plays. Okay. Oh my goodness. Le'Veon. Yes, sir. Nice run right there. Gurley, I need you to block exceptionally well right here. Le'Veon, yes sir, fighting, getting us the touchdown, that was all of him. Another one, Jamal Adams, might be my favorite player in this game right now, team of the year too, like he doesn't even have a gold ticket, not like that, oh, yikers, <laughs> <laughs> let's put Lockett on the flat, okay, circle, yes sir, Tyreek with the diving catch, that's gonna be the rage quit, thank you so much for clicking on this video man, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, if you did, you know, go ahead and destroy that like button, don't forget to subscribe if you are new around here man, and I'll see you guys on the next one.